Hello everyone, I'm Miss Jordy, the Young Adult Librarian at the Augusta Richmond County Public Library. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm sharing with you my picks for YA horror books that are frighteningly good. Whether you enjoy books that are spooky and mysterious, or ones that have you afraid to turn off the light at night, come to the YA area at headquarters and to our branches to give these a try. My first pick from Little Graves is the book Doll Bones by Holly Black. It is recommended for ages 10 to 14 years old and is a 2014 Newbery Honor winner. Take a journey with best friends forever, Zach, Poppy, and Alice, who have been engrossed in a continuous, ever-changing game of pirates and thieves and mermaids and warriors, along with a great queen who is represented by a bone china doll who curses those who displease her. Now that they are in middle school, Zach's father has encouraged him to give up playing make-believe, and therefore Zach quits the game. When it seems like their friendship is over, Poppy informs Zach and Alice that the Great Queen has been visiting her in her dreams, along with the ghost of a girl who will not rest until the Bone China doll is buried in her empty grave. Go with Zach, Poppy, and Alice on their bone-chilling mission by reading Doll Bones by Holly Black. If you're a middle school student who enjoys reading books that are spooky yet mysterious, I highly recommend reading Thornhill by Pam Smy. It is recommended for ages 10 to 14 years old. It has parallel stories of two girls, 13-year-old Mary, whose story is written in prose via her diary entries from the year 1982, and of Ella, whose story is in black and white illustrations from the year 2017. Mary is an orphan who lives at Thornhill Institute with other girls who hope to be adopted into loving families. When her bully returns to Thornhill after arrangements didn't go well with the adoption, Mary finds herself on edge and doing everything she can to stay out of her way until she has no choice but to face her arch nemesis. Would they be able to become friends or will things take a turn for the worst? Fast forward 35 years later to Ella, who moves to a house that is across from the Thornhill Institute, which is now dilapidated with a barbed wire fence and sign saying to keep out. While unpacking one day, she sees a young girl standing in the lawn of Thornhill Institute. She sets out to find this girl and to befriend her, to find out how Mary deals with a bully and to discover who the mystery girl Ella has seen be sure to read Thornhill, This Chilling Tale by Pam Smy. For more frightening tales for middle grade students, be sure to check out the following. The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. All the Lovely Bad Ones by Mary Downing Hahn. The Haunted Mask by R.L. Stein that's in the Goosebumps series. The Old Willis Place, A Ghost Story by Mary Downing Hahn. And You Can't Scare Me by R.L. Stein that is also in the Goosebump series. My first pick for ages 14 years old and up is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. Go on a thrilling journey with Jacob, also known as Jake, a 16-year-old young man from Florida who goes off to a remote island off the coast of Wales after a horrific family tragedy has him looking for answers and he hopes someone or something on this island can help him. Here he discovers the crumbling ruins of Miss Peregrine's home for peculiar children, which he believes carries the answers to which he seeks. As he musters his courage and explores its remains, it becomes evident that Miss Peregrine's children were more than just peculiar. He finds photographs of these children that are shown throughout the book which adds to the eeriness of the story. Could it be that they were very dangerous and quarantined on this deserted island for a good reason. And although these children should have been dead a long time ago, is it possible that they are still alive? To find out, read Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, as well as check out the movie version that is on DVD. We have the book and DVD at headquarters, as well as several of our branches. My next pick for teens ages 14 years and up is Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. It is a beautiful blend of historical fiction and horror, 
and tells the story of 17-year-old Jane McKean, who was born two days before the dead began to walk the battlefields of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, derailing the war between the states and changing America forever. To ensure the safety for all, especially the wealthy, laws such as the Negro and Native Reeducation Act require that certain children, such as Jane, attend combat schools to learn to put down the dead. While studying as an attendant, Jane's job is simple, to keep her charge from being killed by the dead and her virtue from being compromised by potential suitors. This task is easier said than done. To do so, Jane is trained in weaponry and etiquette, which is an opportunity to allow Jane and other Negro girls a better life. However, this isn't the life Jane wants. After finishing her education at Miss Preston School of Combat in Baltimore, Jane is set on returning home to Kentucky. But when families around Baltimore County begin to go missing, Jane finds herself in the midst of a desperate fight against some powerful enemies. Just when she thought the restless dead were her biggest problem, she found out otherwise. If you're looking for a tale about zombies that is unlike anything you have ever read before, read Dread Nation, as well as the sequel, Deathless Divide. For more great hair-raising tales for teens, be sure to read House of Furies by Madeline Rue. There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins, which is now a movie on Netflix. Saw Kill Girls by Claire Legrand. The Missing Season by Julian French. And Party Games, a Fear Street novel by R.L. Stein. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you enjoy reading horror, I hope you'll come to headquarters as well as to our branches to check out at least one of these spooky tales. Just remember that I warn you, read if you dare.